been a profitable journey. And yet I know for the world sand that is well. have been told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. I don't care what you're doing. After what happened, you're lucky I don't toss you in jail. Now get lost. We will be back. This is not over. You there. We're looking for someone in White Run. We will pay good money for information. A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiterun, so we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. She cannot hide from us forever. Welcome to War Maidens. Now don't let the name worry you. We got plenty of steel for fighting men. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Good doing business with you. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. I Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Interesting, to say the least. But with all that's been going on... On the one hand, supplies are harder to come by since fewer traders are traveling the roads these days. But on the other, the scarcity of supplies has led to some, well... Elevated prices. All that matters is that I have what you need, and it's worth every septum. Isn't it obvious? Why, the wonderful weather and hospitable people, of course. Not to mention my great fondness for dragons and petty political power struggles. Ah, but without a doubt, the most compelling feature of this frozen wasteland is the volley of inane questions leveled at me on a regular basis. Take a look. Do come back. Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Nothing? And what of my son, hmm? What of Thorold? Is he nothing? So don't talk to me about suffering. Your son chose his side and he chose poorly, and now he's gone. Such is the way of war. The sooner you accept his loss, the better. 
I will never accept his death. My son still lives. I feel it in my heart. So tell me, Battleborns, where is he? Where are you holding my forearm? <laughs> Do you believe this old hag? Holding him? Why, I've got him in my cellar. He's my prisoner. Face it, Cal. Your stupid son is dead. He died a Stormcloak traitor. And you, you best keep oh, your mouth shut before you, you suffer the you same. You the dragon. Come on, father. There's nothing more to be There's said been here. There's talk amongst the gods. But you are dragonborn. All I can think about is my son, sure, that's my fault. They say that he was killed, but I know better. I know my son is alive. Those battle-born, they're in with the Imperials. They know it too, and yet they lie to my very face. It's not wise to discuss it here. Please, if you truly wish to help, meet me at my home. I'll tell you the whole story. You look tired, friend. The Bannered Mare has beds for rest. Today, they take away your strength. Gotta keep my eyes open. What's that? Damn dragons got swept down. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the Bannered Mare from Hulda. Before my Ma and Da passed, I told them that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. You'd do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future? About the same as everyone else? They're the catfolk of Elsewhere. Great warriors, good traders. Way I hear it, Elsewhere ain't nothing like Skyrim. It's got tropical forests and dusty badlands. It sounds awful. Yeah, these Khajiit make a living traveling the roads and selling their wares. It's got to be tough. Skyrim's a hard enough land when you've got a roof over your head. Worst thing is, nobody wants them in the cities. Nobody trusts them. Reputation, mostly. A lot of Khajiit turn to smuggling and thievery to get by. A few bad apples spoil the bunch. You know how it is. Farewell. Finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. Ain't nobody you heard high the enough. summons. So what happened at the Watchtower? Don't you forget. Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Dragonborn. What do you know about the Dragonborn? So it's true. Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. The Greybeards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Brungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this... what? Dragonborn. Nor nonsense. 
Why, you puffed up ignorant! These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. It seems this damnable conflict has claimed everyone's passions of late. Me? I prefer my books, and my spells. I believe I am, yes. Technically speaking, of course. The city is also home to a priest, priestess, an alchemist, and I'm sure others who practice. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost salts for Arcadia. She asked me to obtain them for one of her potions. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? I'm sure Arcadia will provide some form of recompense. Good. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a menial task. Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. If you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mages College in Winterhold. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor, a gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Lead the way.
My cousin's out fighting dragons. And what do I do? Guard. Damn those gray mates to oblivion. They want to back the storm cloaks. They'll forget what's coming. Pardon me, but do I detect a case of the rattles? I've got something for that. Ah, splendid, splendid. It's for a special brew I'm working on. A love elixir like none other. Maybe I'll test it on Faringar first. Oh, but I suppose you expect some compensation. Um, here. These potions should suffice. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. I in what can I get you? Sure thing, it's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. I ain't done nothing. Let me know if there's anything else you need. This is a local favorite and one of the first songs I ever learned. Ragnar the Red. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to Whiterun from old Rorikstead. And the braggart did swagger and brandish his blade as he told of both battles and gold he had made. But then he went quiet, did Ragnar Zadia, the Red, when he met the here. shield maiden Matilda, yes, who said... Oh, you talk and you lie and you drink all our mead. Now I think it's high time that you lie down and bleed. And so then came clashing and slashing of steel as the brave lass Matilda charged in full of zeal. And the braggart named Ragnar was boastful no more when his ugly red head rolled around on the floor. You want a drink? Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. Are you sure? <laughs> oh no. They found me? I need your help, please. Come with me. I need to speak to you privately. Quickly, come with me. something what can I do for you I work for Bellathor at the general goods store the security in white run is terrible shameful is what it is So, 
show. Are you working with them? You think you can take me? You so much as touch me and you're going to lose fingers. I mean it. I'll... I'll cut you in half. So the Alakir know where I am? What did they offer you? Gold? How... You can't tell them. Please, I need your help and there isn't anyone I can trust here in the city. I am not the person that the people of Whiterun think I am. My real name is Eamon. I am a noble of House Suda in Hammerfell. The men who are looking for me, the Alakir, they are assassins in the employ of the Almarie Dominion. They wish to exchange my blood for gold. I need you to root them out and drive them away before they find me and drag me back to Hammerfell for an execution. They're mercenaries, only in it for the money. They're led by a man named Kamatu. Get rid of him, and the rest will scatter. I don't dare show my face, lest they recognize me, so you'll have to find out where they are. I heard one of them was just arrested trying to sneak into the city. If he's locked up in the jail, perhaps you can get it out of him. Please, I know I'm asking you to do something difficult, maybe even dangerous. I just don't know who else I can trust. You think I'd be in hiding if this was something I trusted town guards to handle? These men are ruthless, cunning, deceitful. They'll pay off whoever they can. I can't trust anyone here in Whiterun. Guards and Jarls can be bought. And the Alakir are close. I'm running out of time, so I'm choosing to trust you. I don't know for sure. I spoke out against the Aldmeri Dominion publicly. I suspect that's why these men were hired to hunt me down. Find me the moment the Alakir are taken care of. But this land is ours, and we'll see it wiped clean Of the scourge that has sullied our hopes and our dreams Take pity, sir, and spare me a few septums. <coughs> the security in White One is terrible. Shameful is what it is. Well met, Kinsman. Well met, Traveler. What's the matter? You can't stand the sight of a strong Nord woman? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 